The serpent dragon king said, What do you understand? I've heard a secret that among the nine sons of the sea dragon lord, it is said that the ninth son is a hybrid, resembling a stray dog, scorned and despised by everyone. Even the sea dragon lord believes that the ninth son has insulted the noble bloodline of the dragon family. The other eight sons are also ashamed and want to kill the ninth son. Finally, this ninth son was imprisoned for many years. The Ling Kua asked, If it is indeed the ninth son, what should we do? The serpent dragon king replied, The third prince dragon is coming soon. If it is indeed the ninth son, we should give it to the third prince dragon. Surely, the third prince dragon will like it. However, before that, I must go to Haiyuan City myself. First, to confirm the identity of that stray dog, and second, to deal with those who dare to oppose me. The serpent dragon king roared loudly, I must handle everything. The scene shifted to Haiyuan City, where a monkey was jumping very quickly on the roof. It suddenly said, The energy of the master is right in front of me. I'm about to meet my master again. Inside Bai Yu Mun, Bai Xu Lu was walking when he heard Bai Yu calling him, Bai Xu Lu. Bai Yu, the hot boy, was sitting on the universal elixir chair and waved his hand. Come here quickly. Bai Xu Lu showed impatience with his master's tone. What do you want? The hot boy then pinched Bai Xu Lu's cheek and said, It's not right for a disciple to be so fierce to their master. The hot boy pinched and thought to himself, Touching this lowly girl feels good. I must take advantage of the opportunity while she's still young. If she grows up, it won't be as interesting anymore. Bai Xu Lu's face turned red with anger as he exclaimed, You make me so angry. Bai Yu, having just pinched Bai Xu Lu, was startled by something above. What's that? A shadow passed by, and both Bai Yu and Bai Xu Lu were puzzled. What the heck is this? A small monkey pounced toward them. Bai Xu Lu shouted, Little monkey. Bai Xu Lu joyfully extended his arms to welcome the little monkey flying towards him. The little monkey wasn't dead. It had come here on its own. As before, the second hot boy was quick to react, and no one dared to claim to be number one. Hot boy Bai Yu grabbed the little monkey with one hand and pressed Bai Xu Lu's head down with the other. Ha! I've caught it. Whoever is quicker can have it. Now this little monkey belongs to the master. Bai Xu Lu was unwilling, struggling to break free. Give me the little monkey back. But he was too short to reach it. Bai Xu Lu had to resort to verbal sparring. This little monkey is mine. You should return it quickly. Hot boy Bai Yu, with a thick skin, replied to Bai Xu Lu. Disciple, you're great in every aspect, except for your tendency to take advantage of others. You claim everything is yours, as if the whole world belongs to you. Oh, master, you're really sad. The hot boy's retort left no room for argument. The little monkey is in my hands now, so it belongs to the master. Bai Xu Lu stomped angrily, in a comically exaggerated pose. No, I must have the little monkey back. Bai Xu Lu thought to himself, I haven't lost my spirit after being trapped by the heavenly fire empress. It's because I can revive and start practicing again from scratch. It's because the little monkey risked its life to protect my soul. I thought it had died under the hands of the heavenly fire, but I never expected it to still be alive. After seizing the little monkey, the hot boy Bai Yu turned back excitedly. Master, you can give this little monkey to you, but first, you must admit that it belongs to me. Bai Xu Lu angrily yelled, The fuck? Stealing and boasting at the same time? Are you trying to take off your pants to fart? It's disgusting and repulsive. I'm wondering how such a person can exist in this world. Bai Xu Lu had barely finished speaking when Bai Yu turned and flicked him on the forehead, saying, Disciple, you can't be so rude. You're already so young and yet so unruly. If you grow up to be as unruly as me, how will you ever be? Hurry up and speak. If I change my mind in a minute, you won't even have your monkey's foot, let alone the monkey itself. Bai Xu Lu, in pain and under threat, had to swallow this bitter pill and admit, I admit that this monkey belongs to the master. Bai Yu, achieving his goal, happily presented the monkey. Very good. Now master officially gives this monkey to you. Bai Xu Lu hugged the little monkey joyfully. Little monkey, it's really you. The little monkey was also overjoyed. Master, we meet again. Bai Xu Lu lifted the monkey up high. Look at you closely again. I thought you were dead. It's great that we're reunited. After seeing Bai Xu Lu and the little monkey reunited, 
Bao Yu felt that something was amiss and exclaimed, Why is there no reaction? Answer me. Is your system still there? SOS. Urgent. Urgent. System. Respond quickly. Bao Yu was extremely anxious, not knowing if the cable was disconnected or the internet connection was lost. But five minutes later, the system finally responded, I'm here. Bao Yu immediately told the system, Don't forget to reimburse me. I just gave a gift to my disciple. Are you planning to cheat me? And that system is not mediocre either. It immediately replies, What are you doing that makes you so impatient? Like hot water being poured on your groin. Ha! Huh. The shark bit the cable under the sea and had a delay. This is the first time the reimbursement system has reimbursed a living creature is currently hunting down the target to reimburse you. Please wait a moment. Hot boy Bayou sweats profusely, stutters. Ha! Huh. What is it that hunts down targets for reimbursement? This lousy system. Are you speaking the truth? The hot boy struggles internally, then asks in a heavy tone. The system, the living animal you're reimbursement me for, is it being hunted right now? The system is silent now, not bothering to say anything else. Hot boy Bayou also has no choice but to wait. Transition to a high mountain with a cave below. A demon king is telling his servant, Go hurry everyone up. The lady is not ready yet. Tonight is our wedding night. I can't wait any longer. While he was fuming, there was a voice. Demon King, the lady has arrived. Two servants are leading the lady in. The Demon King then says, Lady, I have practiced for hundreds of years. Never been close to a woman. Until today, my practice can be considered a great success. After thousands of choices, finally found someone as ordinary as the lady. The Demon King feels very happy, continues. You all leave. The lady and I will prepare the room. The demon king continues. Lady, tonight is worth a thousand gold. Let's go to bed. I'm already very excited and eager. Ha ha. This demon king has been a bachelor for hundreds of years and doesn't even know if the rifle is still usable or has rusted away. Usually, rushing things often leads to mistakes. Just as he was about to do something big, the system suddenly popped up and said, Ding. Ding. Target detected. The Demon King was startled. He looked back. What's that sound? The system continues to display a panel with the following information. The system has received the disciple reimbursement. Congratulations on meeting the system's capture conditions. The Demon King's blood pressure suddenly rises. His eyes narrow. His mouth growls. Who's talking? Who's coming out? I'm preparing for something big. The fat is about to reach my mouth. Whoever dares to disturb, I will tear them apart. Suddenly... A golden light surrounds the Demon King. Poof, a sound. He disappeared. The lady stood for a while without hearing any sound, waiting for a long time without hearing the Demon King speak. She said, Husband, where are you? I'm also eager to die. Husband, what are you preparing for? Why is it taking so long? Has the rifle been loaded? After a while, not hearing the Demon King's reply, she took off the cloth covering her face, extremely startled when she saw no one in front of her. Ha! Huh. Where is he? At the same time, at Bayou Mun, Bike Su Lu was holding a small monkey in his arms and said, Little monkey, my cultivation is declining drastically at the moment. I see that even though your cultivation has decreased, you still have the strength of a demon king. Bike Su Lu stared at Bayou, the hot boy. Little monkey, you quickly help me teach this bad guy a lesson. The little monkey hesitated and said, He seems plain bun. In its mind, it remembered how Bai Yu had given it many delicious plain buns before. Baik Su Lu was imagining Bai Yu getting slapped by the little monkey and being scolded. Just threaten him. Don't actually hurt him. After all, he's not that bad. After that, I'll take you to eat plain buns. The little monkey heard that it would get to eat plain buns, so it immediately agreed without hesitation. Suddenly, the system responded, making the hot boy Bai Yu stunned. System reimbursement, you give gifts to disciple. Give disciple by Xu Lu, the little monkey, activate reimbursement times 10,000. Congratulations on receiving demon god Canis Major. The hot boy was overjoyed, like winning the lottery. His eyes widened, his tongue sticking out as if he wanted to lick the whole world. It turned out that demon god was much higher level than demon king. Hot boy Bai Yu was too engrossed in thinking about that demon god, so he didn't realize that the little monkey was attacking him. The little monkey was charging towards him saying, if you disturb my master, I'll teach you a lesson. The little monkey was transforming into a giant ape. 
Bai Xu Lu looked on approvingly, thinking, Bai Yu, you always bully me. Let's see if you'll be scared to pee in your pants this time. Suddenly, demon god Canis Major was pulled out by the system to block him. He was extremely confused and asked himself, Where is this? Who are you? Where is my wife? Canis Major glared at the giant monkey, its eyes ablaze with anger. Oh, just a little demon king. You're quite brave, it said with a smirk. Without warning, Canis Major threw a punch at the monkey. Bike Sulu, seeing this, wrinkled his nose and mouth and said, What, where did this giant demon god come from? A punch from demon god Canis Major turned the giant monkey back into a small one. The small monkey lay sprawled on the ground. Bike Sulu hurriedly ran over, worried, and said, My little monkey, are you okay? Demon god Canis Major, angry, cursed. The fuck? Who brought you here? What the hell is going on? I'm in the honeymoon suite, preparing to make love to my wife. Even the heavens have to avoid mealtime, and I'm being disturbed while doing that with my wife. God, where are you? Where you live? Oh, wait, where am I? Demon God Canis Major's anger boiled over, and he yelled, Who? Is this unethical bastard? You, come out. Hot boy Bai Yu, seeing this cool and formidable demon god, also thought to himself, Oh, so this is the demon god reimbursement system. It doesn't look ordinary at all from the... The demon god, feeling resentful of Bai Yu's gaze, was like it couldn't bear it. It seemed to want to devour Bai Yu alive. The demon god said, What are you looking at? Hot boy Bai Yu calmly replied in a teasing tone. Ha ha. What am I looking at? Well, I'm looking at what I'm looking at. I like to look at that. What can you do about it? Demon god Canis Major bent down to look at the tiny Bayou below. Kid, are you the one who brought me here? Bayou remained calm and answered, It's true, you could say that. The eyes of the demon god were filled with anger as it said, You're disrupting my honeymoon night. To put it bluntly, you're disrupting my preparation to make love to my wife. Can you accept what you've done? Are you tired of living? Demon god Canis Major roared and yelled loudly, I'll kill you. With its large jaws and sharp teeth like those of a wolf, it seemed like it was trying to scare someone to death. But that was for others. For Hot Boy Bayou, the demon god was just a pet. The Hot Boy grabbed Canis Major's mouth with one hand, and it struggled but couldn't escape. After a while of struggling and exerting itself, its head seemed like it was about to explode because there was too much blood rushing to its brain. After playing around for a while, Hot Boy Bayou finally let go of his hand. It was only then that demon god Canis Major started breathing again, and a few big question marks appeared in its mind. It thought, how can this kid be so strong? Bai Xulu was holding the little monkey that had just been beaten and peed in his pants. The little monkey and Bai Xulu were sweating in fear. What's this situation? Is this a demon god? Cultivating a love beast is extremely difficult, and demon kings are already rare. So why is there a demon god here? Hot boy Bai Yu took out a plain bun from his inventory and threw it in his hand. He said enticingly, Canis Major, as long as you listen to me, there will be enough plain buns for you to eat all day long. In his head, the hot boy thought to himself, Love beasts must like plain buns. But at this moment, demon god Canis Major's head smoked and its eyes closed tightly because of the itching. This kid is really annoying and likes to drive others crazy. Plain bun. Are you trying to drive me crazy? I'm in a really bad mood now. I'm preparing to make love to my wife. Two plain buns big, pink plain buns are waiting for me. The special plain buns can be eaten for a lifetime. Now you're asking me to eat a little plain bun. Are you deliberately playing with me? I'll tear you apart. Demon God Canis Major rushed forward angrily. Hot boy Bai Yu waited for it to come closer and then slapped it like a thunderbolt. It fell to the ground with its face down. At this moment, it still couldn't understand why. Why is this happening? This little human with a low realm, how can he easily defeat me? The reminder system. Now you are the owner of the demon god Canis Major. Any attack on the owner of Canis Major will be ineffective, and it cannot resist, can be summoned instantly anywhere. The dirty-handed hot boy expresses satisfaction. Ha ha, the system is well arranged. Canis Major is still resentful. A useless human. I don't believe I can't defeat you. Canis Major's eyes glared at Hot Boy Bai Yu extremely resentfully. Bai Yu replied, Ha ha. Then I will cut off both of your hands. As soon as Hot Boy Bai Yu finished speaking, 
He kicked and Canis Major's head slammed to the ground. The wolf lay struggling on the ground, still muttering, Too much, especially too much, I am a demon god, strict and yet not the opponent of someone with the lower realm. Bai Xulu saw this scene and sweated with fear. Too terrifying. This Bat Yu is really terrifying. He fights a demon god like an honorless dog, making him completely unable to resist. Hot boy Bat Yu continued to tease. Hey demon god, get up and continue. You haven't even gotten up yet. You're a fake demon god. Demon god replied. No, can't play anymore. Oh human, don't be secretly happy. My humiliation today. I will pay you back many times in the future. Now I have work at home. I have to go before that. Bai Yu shouted. Stop, it's not that easy. I won't let you go anywhere. Hot boy Bai Yu secretly rejoiced in his heart. I want to see. How do you intend to leave? The demon god continued to show his pride and took another step forward. Kid, what are you? How dare you command me? I'll just go. What then? What can we do to each other? After taking a few more steps, the demon god suddenly panicked. What? I can't move. Now he couldn't move forward or backward. What's going on? Why isn't my body obeying me anymore? What did you do to me? Did you use some kind of dark magic on me? Bai Yu said, Canis Major, now I am your owner. You must obey me. Canis Major replied, Stop dreaming. I am a demon god and will never be a slave. And you are just a lowly human, daring to demand to be my master. Suddenly, a sound came that made everyone freeze. Woof. Woof. It was the barking of Bai Yu's loyal dog. Warning of an approaching enemy, the Serpent Dragon King and his shrimp soldiers flew in on clouds. The Serpent Dragon King was extremely angry, his killing intent palpable. He shouted loudly, Everyone at Bai Yu Mun, come out and die. Lai Xu rushed over and said, It's the Serpent Dragon King. At this moment, both Lu Yuan and Yang Jiangfeng had arrived. Lu Yuan hastily suggested, Bai Headmaster, the Serpent Dragon King is coming. This is a big deal. Quickly activate the defensive formation. Bai Yu, the hot boy, remained calm and replied, Don't rush. Yang Jiangfeng couldn't remain calm either. Bai Headmaster, we can't afford to not be hasty. The Serpent Dragon King is different from those self-proclaimed demon kings. In the desolate mountains, the Serpent Dragon King is truly referred to as a demon lord, famous for a hundred years and extremely terrifying. Its power can rival the Marcus realm. Even Lu Yuan's senior brother may not be able to handle it. A crab soldier instantly shouted, The Serpent Dragon King has ordered, Hand over the dog, and the rest kneel down and accept death. Lai Xiu expressed concern, Master, this is the biggest crisis in Bai Yu Mun's history, all caused by our family. I will activate the formation shortly. Master, can you retreat first? Bai Yu patted Lai Xiu on the shoulder. Bop, bop. He continued, if your master isn't worried, why are you? Lai Xu replied, What? In such an urgent situation, you're not worried. Is the master okay? Bai Yu glared and gritted his teeth. They dare to come to my Bai Yu Mun, steal the dog, and kill people. They completely underestimate me. They must be dealt with. Imagine how one would think that the hot boy Bai Yu could handle everything on his own. However, it was surprising when Bai Yu ordered, Canis Major, I'm assigning you this task. Demon God Canis Major looked confused and suspicious. Bai Yu continued, You help me defeat that fake dragon, and I'll let you go home. Is that okay with you? After hearing Bai Yu's request for help in defeating the Serpent Dragon King, and that Bai Yu would allow him to return home to be with a woman, Canis Major crossed his arms and asked, Why should I help you? How is your problem related to me? In Bai Yu's mind, he immediately thought of a statement that he considered very accurate. Since you're here, you must help me. Ha ha ha. After a moment's thought, and with a woman waiting at home, Canis Major quickly asked, Are you sure you'll let me go without any conditions? Bai Yu promptly replied, Of course, I'll say it only once. In truth, Bai Yu had a dark intention in his mind, thinking, You can leave any time, but I can summon you whenever I want. Canis Major was pleased and confidently shook hands. Okay, I let's agree to that. Bai Yu then asked, Are you sure you can win? Canis Major, that Serpent Dragon King has been famous for a long time, and the rumors about it are very terrifying. Canis Major retorted fiercely, Just a little eel, can't even come close to me. 
Dealing with this little eel only requires a big bag. Small matters like this should be left to me. From above, Serpent Dragon King looked down and said, Oh, these mortals are really brave, seeing me and not bowing down. The shrimp and crab soldiers spoke up. Serpent Dragon King. These stubborn ones probably haven't seen a coffin yet, that's why they haven't shed a tear. They're as stubborn as oxen, not willing to bow their heads to the ground. Let them feel your supreme power. Scare them out of their wits. Serpent Dragon King shouted loudly, I will count from one to three. Whoever is still standing, I will break their neck. Canis Major got angry and retorted loudly, You quickly come down here for me. Serpent Dragon King laughed, Oh, you're brave. This dog wolf is so daring daring to interrupt me while I'm counting. Canis Major prepared to attack, saying, Are you deaf? Can't you hear me? If you can't come down by yourself, then I will knock you down. As soon as Canis Major finished speaking, he unleashed his move. A thunderstorm, a ball of lightning gathered in the palm of Canis Major's hand. Serpent Dragon King looked on in horror. As fast as lightning, a large move was unleashed by Canis Major. Too fast and too dangerous. Serpent Dragon King couldn't resist and fell to the ground, surrounded by lightning bolts. Boom! Serpent Dragon King fell to the ground, smoke and dust all around, mixed with the lightning bolts still emanating. The shrimp and crab soldiers looked at Serpent Dragon King, lying motionless on the ground, and exclaimed, What? How is this possible? Serpent Dragon King. A while later, Serpent Dragon King finally stood up, but he was still trembling in fear. Only now did he realize, Oh, this is the realm of demon god. How is there another demon god here? Lu Yuan and Yang Jiangfeng just stood and watched, but they were sweating profusely. So that's how it is. Bai Headmaster doesn't need to rush at all. Lai Chu also sighed, Oh my god, the master doesn't need to worry. Canis Major's two eyes were glowing red. The sharp fangs of his mouth asked Serpent Dragon King, Don't you like counting? Keep counting. At this moment, there were still many lightning bolts around Canis Major. Canis Major stepped toward the fake dragon. At this moment, Serpent Dragon King seemed to have no more blood. His whole body was pale, his mouth stuttering. Actually, I... I... I don't like counting. Canis Major said, Oh, you don't like counting? Then I'll help you count. Canis Major glared and said, One, two. Serpent Dragon King looked in horror, thinking to himself, the 36 strategies to escape. Only running can escape this 80-second disaster. Right after that, he transformed into the form of a dragon and flew high. Canis Major angrily shouted, Ah, still planning to escape, still planning to run. Serpent Dragon King screamed, Ah, ah. As soon as he finished counting, Canis Major was seen floating together with Serpent Dragon King's tail, but his head was nowhere to be seen. Go die, little eel. When Canis Major touched the ground, a golden bead fell down, but all attention was on Canis Major, so no one noticed this golden bead. All the shrimp and crab soldiers were horrified and exclaimed, Oh my god, how is this possible? Serpent Dragon King has been beaten. Run fast, or else, you'll turn into steamed seafood. So the entire group of shrimp and crab soldiers ran away. Hot Boy Bayou widened his eyes and exclaimed, Canis Major is so powerful. If he were to look after our house, I would truly feel very reassured. Lu Yuan and Yang Jiangfeng were even more admiring, saying, Bai Headmaster only needs his bare hands in his pocket. Then he has no rival. Bai Headmaster has already reached the limits of humanity as soon as he makes a move. Upon seeing Canis Major about to leave, Bai Yu immediately inquired, Canis Major, should you consider staying? We could discuss the terms. Canis Major replied, There's nothing to consider. Farewell will not meet again. Before finishing the sentence, Canis Major disappeared, leaving Bayou to remark, You run really fast. I haven't even finished speaking. Shortly after, Canis Major reappeared, having forgotten to ask something. I have a question for you. Where is this? The hot boy responded succinctly, Shang Tian region. Canis Major then asked, Shang Tian region, why have I never heard of it before? Is this some desolate place? Bai Xu Lu interjected, Human Emperor Realm, Sheng Tian Region, before being rudely interrupted by Canis Major, who exclaimed, The fuck, Human Emperor Realm, why bring me to such a faraway place? Canis Major continued, Human Emperor Realm, yet it leads me to a desolate continent. 
How many more days will my wife have to wait at home? Suddenly, the Demon King dog appeared, its eyes gleaming at the yellow pill. This is the dragon essence of the Serpent Dragon King. The Demon King dog brought the dragon essence to buy you, who bent down and picked it up, asking, You want this, little dog? The Demon King dog stood on its hind legs, wagging its tail and panting in anticipation. Lu Yuan then spoke up, Bye, Headmaster. The dragon essence of the Serpent Dragon King is a treasure, far more valuable than the pill-level god, and only the dragon family possesses it. Consuming it can greatly increase the demonic essence of the demon family. Ba Yu replied, Oh, in that case, let's keep it. The demon king dog wagged its tail, thinking to itself, Strongman is a good person, giving me this precious thing. Hurry up and give it to me. Immediately, the hot boy turned around as if flipping a pancake, tossing the dragon essence to Bai Xu Lu, who quickly caught it. Ba Yu declared, I've made up my mind. Give it to Bai Xu Lu. The demon king dog, witnessing this scene, seemed to turn to stone, with several question marks appearing in its head. Lu Yuan also felt puzzled, sighing before speaking again. Bai Xu Lu, despite receiving the dragon essence, was the most difficult to understand. Ha! Huh. The puzzling behavior of this guy, this guy speaks in one way, but acts in another. Aren't you afraid of getting slapped in the face by others? Thought Bai Xu Lu as he tightly gripped the dragon essence in his hand. But this dragon essence can support cultivation. It's a good thing. I'll take it. It's so tempting. The system announced, Bai Xu Lu's disciple is awarded one dragon essence, activating a 10,000-fold reimbursement. Congratulations on receiving the dragon essence stone of the gigantic golden dragon, a sparkling green dragon essence stone. Hot boy Ba Yu tightly grasped the hand, showing joy. Ha ha, Bai Xu Lu is really my lucky star. The reimbursement rate is always so high. The essence stone of the gigantic golden dragon sounds very majestic, Demon King Dog. If you swallow it, you may have the potential to become a gigantic golden dragon in the future. At this moment, the sad Demon King Dog sighed. Strongman doesn't give me dragon essence. In the end, in Strongman's heart, I'm still not as good as his disciple. Bai Yu took the dragon essence stone of the gigantic golden dragon and said, Dog, here you go. The demon king dog turned back to look. This unique fragrance. This. This is the essence stone of the gigantic golden dragon. Even Strongman has this level of dragon essence. You should know that the gigantic golden dragon truly grows up, comparable to the dragon ancestor and azure dragon. Lu Yu once said, The gigantic golden dragon is also called the dragon of valor, born noble. The dragon essence of the serpent dragon king compared to this essence stone of the gigantic golden dragon, is nothing. The Heatmaster's intervention is truly extraordinary. After seeing the green essence stone, Bai Xu Lu looked back at his dragon essence and found it no longer appealing. Hot boy Bai Yu threw the essence stone to the demon king dog, saying, Dog, catch it. The demon king dog quickly and decisively opened its mouth wide and bit the essence stone without hesitation. Then the demon king dog turned back to look at Ba Yu and wagged its tail, showing great pleasure. A moment later, the huge spirit of the demon king dog appeared. Lu Yuan, seeing this scene, exclaimed, Headmaster, the ninth offspring of the dragon king has been despised by the dragon family since birth. This time, swallowing the essence stone of the gigantic golden dragon will surely be reborn erasing the past humiliation. Bai Yu was extremely surprised to look at the Demon King dog. What the fuck? The ninth offspring of the Dragon King. This dog is really the ninth son of the Dragon King. Ha <laughs> ha. It's not surprising that the dog is so obedient. So everyone knows, except for me. The Demon King dog looked at Bai Yu with a moved look. Strongman is really good to me. In the future, I will definitely guard the door well for Strongman. The scene shifts to the chaotic evil sect where a mysterious figure in a red robe has come on the orders of the Holy Master of the Shang Tian sect. The figure kneels before the Grand Master of the Chaotic Evil sect and says, Our Holy Master requires some plain buns made of blood. The Grand Master of the Chaotic Evil sect replies, Recently, I have slaughtered in a remote town, so there are some plain buns made of blood left over. The mysterious figure then says, Our Holy Master also advises you to be a little discreet. Recently, your people from the Chaotic Evil Sect killed our disciples from the Shang Tian Sect. Shang Tian Sect is in an uproar 
and wants to take revenge by destroying the chaotic evil sect. The Holy Master is having a hard time restraining them. The Grand Master of the chaotic evil sect says, I have worked hard to find the kill recently, but it has disappeared again. The person who killed the people from the Sheng Tian sect is definitely related to this matter. However, I must catch that person, no matter what. The mysterious figure in the red robe asks, Who did this? The Grand Master of the Chaotic Evil Sect replies, A small sect in Haiyuan City. The mysterious figure in the red robe continues, Haiyuan City is too close to the Sheng Tian sect. Recently, in the Endless Sea, there have been illusions appearing, and many forces will converge there. Chaotic Evil Sect, do not appear there. I will report this matter to the Holy Master and he will handle it for you satisfactorily. The Grand Master of the Chaotic Evil Sect says, This must be done quickly. That kiln is perfect. I will merge with it, and after that, I will not be limited by my old body. I can serve the Holy Master better. If not, I can only use my own methods to achieve my goals. The mysterious figure in the red robe replies, Everything the Holy Master does is for the Shang Tian Sect. In the end, the Shang Tian Sect is the weakest of the nine regions. You must never cause chaos. Even if you are refining plain buns made of blood, it is for the greater good of the Shang Tian sect. The Holy Master stands on the right side of the law. Three days later, at Bai Yu Gate, Bai Yu is sitting on his universal elixir chair when he is suddenly startled. He says, I have reached the superhuman realm in cultivation. I am only one step away from my two disciples. The tenfold reimbursement limit of Bai Su Lu is almost exhausted. When will the system allow me to recruit a third disciple? The system replies, We have not found a suitable person to be your disciple. Please be patient. At that moment, Lai Xu arrives and says, Master. Bai Yu asks, What's the matter? Why are you so excited? Tell me. Lai Xu replies, The endless sea has an illusion. Bai Yu asks, What is that? Lai Xu explains, It is what the common people call the Cheng Wu Ji. For cultivators like us, this is a great opportunity. Sometimes, it may not happen for hundreds of years. Bai Yu comments, The Cheng Wu Ji. Not just an illusion, but also a great opportunity. Bai Tzu Lu doesn't know where she came from. She immediately added, The illusion is an illusion, not a fake. Climbing the real peak can bring great fortune. This has been confirmed by countless people. Bai Yu listens to Lai Xu and Bai Tzu Lu's concern about Si Mirage City. The hot boy stands with his arms crossed and asks, It seems like you want to go to the illusion. Lai Xu and Bai Xu Lu's determined eyes glare. Lai Xu holds Bai Xu Lu's hand tightly and says, We will go. Why not go? Si Mirage City contains great luck and great benefits. We can't miss this opportunity. Bai Xu Lu is excited again and says, Moreover, the illusion is called the most mysterious realm of the human emperor realm. In the past, even the owner of the heavenly court the human emperor, wanted to understand its existence. But only those under the Marcus realm can enter it. Bai Xun Lu thinks to herself, In the previous life before the illusion appeared, I was Ming Sui Empress. The realm is too high to enter. This time, I must not miss it. The hot boy Bai Yu, with a mysterious expression on his face, hesitates, and then suddenly points his finger excitedly. Then, our Bai Yu gate will go to the illusion. It's true that the hot boy Bai Yu was born to be an actor. Both disciples, Li Xu and Bai Xu Lu, also join in, standing to create a cool and outstanding pose. At this moment, there are many people on the road seeking to enter Si Mirage City in hopes of entering the illusion. Bai Yu walks and thinks, I never thought there would be such a good opportunity in this life to enter the illusion. This time, I must seize the opportunity to change my destiny. After a while, Bai Yu seems to be possessed by Sun Wukong, covering his eyes with his hand like a monkey, looking into the distance and asking, Is this the illusion? Lu Yuan, the encyclopedia, replies, We still can't enter the illusion now. We have to wait for the illusion to become real before we can enter. I have arranged a good hostel. We can wait here for a while. Yang Jing Feng is also non-inferior, providing more useful information. This time the illusion appears. It will definitely attract all the major forces in the Shang Tian sect. Finally, the chaotic era has come. Spirit stones are running out, and everyone is aiming for and hoping for such mysterious scenes. Suddenly, a familiar red-haired girl and a young man appeared, both of whom seemed very close. This girl was Yulian, 
the former lover of the heartthrob Bayou. They walked together, exchanging glances full of affection. Yulian spoke first. This time, thank you, Liang senior brother, for taking us into the virtual realm. If it weren't for my new position in the Mu Quan sect, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to participate in this. The young man took the opportunity to hold the girl's hand, and a pink heart appeared in her eyes, filled with romantic love. The young man continued gently, Dear, I understand your intentions. If there's something good, I'll always think of you first. There's no need for us to be polite between us. Yulian shyly turned her face away, and pink, romantic hearts appeared around them. Liang senior brother, I understand, she replied. The heartthrob then whispered in Yulian's ear, This time, as long as we seize the opportunity to gain fortune in the virtual world, we'll have a chance to advance to the inner circle of disciples. He continued to hold Yulian's hands, and they looked into each other's eyes with intoxication, saying, Then our position in the Mu Quan sect will be more stable. Liang's senior brother, rest assured, I've never been one to shy away from opportunities. Yulian assured him, This time, I'll definitely seize the chance. The senior brother then said, there's a strong wind here. Let's go back to the inn first. At this point, the young man's dark intentions were evident. Suddenly, Yulian saw something, and when she turned back, she exclaimed, Ha! Huh. The young man noticed and asked, What's wrong? Why are you surprised? Yulian replied, I saw someone I know. As they continued walking, Yulian explained her past with the young man Bayu. Liang senior brother, I told you before that before joining the Mu Quan sect the headmaster of another small sect had intentions towards me. He kept pursuing me, didn't he? Yulian pointed in the direction of Bayou, saying, That's him, that worthless country bumpkin. The young man looked at Bayou with disdain, saying, So that's the little brat. It's true that a toad wants to eat swan meat. Yulian exclaimed in surprise, Bayou. When unexpectedly called out, the hot boy Bayou turned back with a bit of surprise. Wu Yulian. Yulian immediately stepped forward, pointing her finger. By you, I didn't expect you to come here. You should know that the struggle for opportunities like this is among the major forces of the Sheng Tian region, like our Mu Quan sect. It's not a place for your small Bai Yu Mun to participate. Bai Yu thought to himself, I must remain calm in front of beautiful girls, can't be startled by ugly ones. So the hot boy Bai Yu coldly replied, Can I participate or not? You don't need to worry about it. Yulian continued with her life lessons. By you, your vision is too narrow. You haven't come into contact with major figures and powerful forces in this world. Your understanding is limited, and you have no idea how terrifying they can be. There are many things you can't imagine. With a slight glance at Yulian, the hot boy Bai Yu responded with a cool remark. I find you truly frightening. In his head, the hot boy thought, This woman talks too much. She's really annoying. Yulian narrowed her eyes and smirked, saying, In my eyes, everyone is a big shot, but if you expect me to help you at a critical moment, then we can't have any relationship anymore. Ignoring those words, Bayu didn't care much and just said, Let's go. The other man started to show his bullying nature, shouting, Stop, don't you understand human language? He then didn't look at anyone, but pointed his finger and scolded, My girl is kindly advising you. She's trying to save your dog's life. Even if you go into the virtual world, you're just a bulletproof vest. Get it? The hot boy Bayou stopped and responded with a simple, okay, before turning to ask, who are you? Seeing that he was asked, the man pounded his chest and shouted, listen carefully, I am Liang Yundang, an inner sect disciple of the Mu Quan sect. This time, I am responsible for all the affairs and travel of the Mu Quan sect. Many people know me here. Hearing this, the people around started to buzz. So he's Liang Yundang of the Mu Quan sect, who is in charge of managing the Mu Quan sect. A powerful figure in the Mu Quan sect. Another person continued, I've also heard of this person. If you join the Mu Quan sect, you can't avoid doing business with him. The hot boy Bai Yu then burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. So you're the big shot of the Mu Quan sect. Making me so scared. How rude. How rude. Upon hearing this, the man felt pleased and said, It's good that you know. With a bullet-like glare, the man began his lecture. I know you used to fancy Yulian, but now you and Yulian are like clouds in the sky and mud on the ground. The difference is too great. Then he concluded the matter with a very disdainful attitude. I find your attitude quite remarkable. 
so get lost, and remember never to show up in front of me again. The hot boy Bei Yu calmly responded, If a normal headmaster like me always has a good attitude, a headmaster should be knowledgeable and sensible, not behave recklessly. Saying so, Bai Yu then made a different move. Immediately after, he pointed towards the man and ordered Yang Jianfeng, Kill his father for me. The man burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. Unable to believe what he was hearing, he said, What the fuck are you hitting me? Darling, did you hear what he said? Is he dreaming and talking nonsense? It's even funnier that he's dreaming in broad daylight. As soon as the man finished speaking, he received a punch like a thunderbolt from Yang Jiangfeng sending him sprawling to the ground with his legs in the air. Yang Jiangfeng said, What an idiot, ignorant and stubborn, hard to train, eats all the rice but still remains stupid. Yu Lian panicked. See your brother. Leon Yun Dang was still groaning in pain. Oh, my face. After a while, he managed to get up, still swollen from the punch, but still defiant. Who dares to hit me? Who is it? Come forward, if you're so good. The purple-haired man quickly replied, I am Yang Jiangfeng. Liang Yun Dang, with his usual arrogance, pointed his finger. Yang Jiangfeng, I've never heard of such a small figure. How dare you hit me? Yang Jiangfeng bowed and pointed to Lu Yuan. Then let a worthy person hit you. It's Lu Yuan's turn now. Liang Yun Dang started to ask questions. But before anything was loaded in his head, Lu Yuan slapped him on the ear. Lu Yuan said, You don't know this. The slap was so strong that Liang Yundang's face was distorted. Without waiting for Liang Yundang to ask for his identity, Lu Yuan volunteered, I am Lu Yuan, and now I have the right to hit you. Only then did Liang Yundang become frightened. Grandmaster of the Changji sect, you are truly the number one figure. But why did you hit me? At that moment, both Lu Yuan and Yang Jiangfeng shouted in unison, We see injustice. We come to help. After being beaten by Yang Jiangfeng and Lu Yuan, Liang Yundang was extremely angry. Well, today I will not care about your helping Bai Yu Mun for whatever reason. Dare to provoke Mu Xuan sect. This hatred Liang Yundang will remember you. Just wait. Yulian, let's go. At this time, Yulian was still harshly scolding. Bai Yu, you are too foolish. You cause big trouble and don't even know it. Liang senior brother is among the top 100 disciples of Mu Kuan's sect. This is someone you absolutely can't provoke. Bai Yu walked away while speaking back. You take care of yourself. In Bai Yu's heart, he thought to himself. Indeed, a proud girl. Bai Xu Lu laughed. Ha ha ha. Then she taunted. Is this the person you once liked? Your taste is too salty. Not just dipping sauce, but can't even dip it at all. Ha ha ha. Too salty. Too salty. The hot boy Bai Yu was teased by Bai Xu Lu, so he quickly grabbed Bai Xu Lu's hand and pulled her away. Kids don't know anything. Don't interfere in adult matters. As they approached Mu Xuan sect, Yulian and Liang Yun Deng noticed that their fellow disciples were looking worried and discussing something. Senior brother with short hair was deep in thought, which puzzled Liang Yun Deng and Yulian. Liang Yun Deng walked up and asked, Senior brother Huang, why does everyone seem worried? What has happened? Senior brother Huang replied, Liang Yun Deng. This time, the archenemy of our grandmaster has appeared, and he has been uttering mad words, wanting to kill our grandmaster. Liang Yun Deng asked again, What, the archenemy of our grandmaster, is that the former sect leader of Hai Lian, who pressured grandmaster to become his disciple, but was refused and then attacked and injured grandmaster? Senior brother Huang answered, Exactly, that's him. This Hylian sect leader knows that Grandmaster has recovered from his injuries, so he has come to challenge him. The options are 1. Grandmaster accepts to become his disciple or 2. He kills Grandmaster. Those standing nearby showed extreme hatred towards the headmaster, Hylian. One of them immediately said, Hylian is just an irrational evil cult leader. Another followed, the headmaster is not afraid of him, nor is the Mu Quan sect. Another person firmly added, the headmaster will definitely defeat him. They were all shocked when they realized that the situation was not as simple as they thought. The headmaster Hai Lion practices dark arts, and his cultivation has far surpassed that of the headmaster of Mu Quan's sect, who has barely progressed due to old injuries. The scene shifts to Douyi's Jingyun, meditating in her room. Fang Mu Ling rushes in and asks, Master, is there really no chance of winning? 
Daoist Jingyan responds, I have encountered that evil cult leader. His cultivation is already very high, and my injuries from many years ago have prevented me from advancing further. Fang Mu Ling continues, The superhuman realm is extremely difficult to surpass, and countless cultivators are stuck in this realm. However, once they break through, they become gods among men. Daoist Jingyun replies, That's why I usually have no chance of winning. Upon hearing Master's words, Fang Mu Ling was startled. Oh, does Master mean there's still a special case where we could win? Daoist Jingyun replied, That's correct. Do you remember Bai Heat Master's axe for chopping wood? Fang Mu Ling asked again, That wood chopping axe? Master, do you want to borrow Bai Heat Master's god spirit? Daoist Jingyun answered, Yes, I want to borrow it. If we can borrow that god spirit, there's hope of defeating Hitmaster, High Lan. Daoist Jingyun continued, Fang Mu Ling, borrowing the god spirit is a big deal. Get ready. We will bring Mu Xuan, sex's most important treasure, to meet Bai Headmaster, to show our goodwill. Fang Mu Ling asked, Master, isn't the most important treasure of Mu Xuan's sect also the god spirit? And now you want to exchange it for another god spirit, it seems illogical. Daoist Jingyun pondered for a moment and said, Yes, there's something fishy about this. In her mind, Daoist Jingyun immediately came up with a plan and told Fang Mu Ling, Here's what we'll do. Fang Mu Ling then went to prepare herself meticulously by applying makeup. Ha! Huh. Fang Mu Ling was confused by her master's words, but then she replied, Yes, the scene ships to Baiyu who wears a puzzled expression upon seeing Daoist Jingyun and the awkward appearance of Fang Mu Ling. As they approach, Bai Yu anxiously asks, If you two have something to say, just say it. Don't scare me like this, standing silently. Seeing them remain silent for a while, Bai Yu presses on. You've been standing here for half the day without uttering a word. Meanwhile, Fang Mu Ling stands timidly to the side, her face flushed with embarrassment. Finally, Daoist Jingyun speaks up. Let me get straight to the point. We are here to ask for your assistance. We hope that Headmaster Bai would lend us your wood chopping axe. Bai Yu initially thought it was a matter of grave concern, so when Daoist Jingyun mentioned borrowing the axe, he was momentarily taken aback. However, his reaction quickly turned to amusement. Oh, such a trivial matter. Here I was thinking it was something significant. Please, feel free to take it. As he spoke, he handed the axe to Daoist Jingyun with a decisive action and a cheerful demeanor. Without a moment's hesitation from Bai Yu left both Daoist Jingyun and Fang Mu Ling wide-eyed in astonishment. Holding the axe, Daoist Jingyun could hardly believe how easily Bai Yu agreed, thinking of herself. What? He lent it to us just like that. This is a god spirit. This could mean that Bai Heat Master's wealth is vast, showing no regard for a mere god spirit. We must seize this opportunity. Immediately after, Daoist Jingyun turned to Fang Mu Ling with a smile and said, Fang Mu Ling, you will stay today to serve beside Hipmaster Bai as a way to express our gratitude for the great kindness Hipmaster Bai has shown to our Mu Quan sect. Yes, Master. Fang Mu Ling obediently responded. Fang Mu Ling truly has a very cool master who even intends to offer her female disciple to the charming young man. After instructing her disciple, Daoist Jingyun turned to Bai Yu and said, I hope Headmaster Bei will not refuse. You have helped the Mu Tuan sect many times, and we do not know how else to repay you. We can only ask Fang Mu Ling to represent us in showing our gratitude. Bai Yu was momentarily stunned and asked, Is this service proper? Daoist Jing Yun and Fang Mu Ling remained silent, offering no further explanation. Suddenly, Bai Su Lu appeared from nowhere, shouting, I despise such indecency. Bai Yu was so infuriated, he could hardly bear it, but still clenched his teeth in anger. Then, calming himself down, Bai Yu presented a facade of dignity in front of his female disciple Bai Xu Lu, changing his attitude to maintain his composure. Jin Yun Headmaster, your words are too harsh. It's a trivial matter. No need for any service. Oh, right, the illusionary realm is about to open. You should return to prepare for it. Fang Mu Ling pressed close to Bai Yu causing the heartthrob to break out in a cold sweat. Bai Headmaster, am I not beautiful enough? She asked. Bai Yu, with his mouth agape, responded. What? No, Fang Mu Ling is very beautiful. A truly stunning beauty. Fang Mu Ling continued. Then, let me stay here. 
At this moment, despite himself, Bai Yu replied, There's really no need. Though his words refuse, deep down, the young man felt a profound regret. Fang Nu Ling, looking directly into Bai Yu's eyes, said, It seems Bai Headmaster dislikes Fang Mu Ling now. After hearing Fang Mu Ling's question, does Headmaster Bai hate Fang Mu Ling? Bai Yu approached and stood in front of Fang Mu Ling, then patted her shoulder. In reality, the hot boy was just taking advantage of the opportunity to touch the girl. He happily said, Miss Fang is very delicate, pure, and beautiful. How could I not like Miss Fang? I really like you. Standing nearby, Bai Xu Lu heard the sweet words that the hot boy Bai Yu was pouring into Fang Mu Ling's ears. She broke out in a cold sweat and goosebumps thinking to herself, this guy is really good at pretending to be righteous and maintaining his image. It's really annoying. After hearing Bai Yu's answer, Fang Mu Ling quickly responded with an innocent and naive expression, like a fawn. However, in this case, it was unclear who was the deer and who was the hunter. Since Headmaster Bai doesn't hate Fang Mu Ling, then Fang Mu Ling will stay here and serve Headmaster Bai. The hot boy's thoughts were unknown as he tightly held the hand then put on a cool expression. However, his gaze was fixed on the girl's chest, not blinking once. Then he said, that, he intended to say something else, but fearing he might have spoken out of turn, he diverted to another topic. You're too skinny. Actually, he wanted to say, your is too small, but hesitated to utter it. Fang Mu Ling, upon hearing Bai Yu call her skinny, puzzled, asked back, skinny? I'm skinny, am I? After a moment of self-reflection, Fang Mu Ling suddenly said, Okay, I understand now. Hearing this, the hot boy's dumbfounded face broke out in a cold sweat. Fearful that his thoughts might have been revealed, he quickly interjected, Hey, do you understand what I meant? I just misspoke. Don't think of me inappropriately. I'm a pure-hearted hot boy. While Bai Yu stared at Fang Mu Ling, feeling embarrassed by her recent words, Daois Jingyan chimed in, Because Bai Headmaster doesn't like skinny people, prefers them big and round. Blushing, she subtly gestured towards her chest, saying, Or should I stay? How does Bai Headmaster feel about that? The hot boy, bewildered, mouth agape, thought to himself, Every day brings new surprises. He stuttered, Well, it's difficult to refuse hospitality. When Su Lu heard the hot boy Bai Yu response, she couldn't help but stare at Bai Yu intently, causing Bai Yu to worry about his image. Sun Lu then spoke up loudly, a hundred years of cow is still cow, so the first refusal is only natural. Being mocked by Xu Lu, the hot boy Bai Yu raised an eyebrow and said reluctantly, But, I still have to refuse. Miss, please don't mention this again. You all should leave. At this moment, Su Lu finally leaned in to listen more closely to Bai Yu's words. Oh, can you believe it? Bai Yu widened his eyes and thought to himself. This Bai Xu Lu girl is really impolite. Bai Yu's refusal left Doas Jingyun and Fang Mu Ling feeling awkward and unsure of what to do. They looked at each other humorously for a while before both leaving. Bai Yu was sitting on the chair while Xu Lu stood nearby with her hands crossed, staring at Bai Yu as if she wanted to say something. Bai Yu sighed, seemingly regretting something. Seeing this, Xu Lu spoke up, Did I interrupt your good deeds? She then continued to lecture Bai Yu while crossing her arms. Now you are my nominal master. You must set an example for self-cultivation, or you will tarnish my reputation. Right after that, hot boy Bai Yu gritted his teeth and twisted his face at Bai Xu Lu. I don't see what reputation you have. Always talking like an old woman. Unpleasant. The more I see you, the more you resemble that old lady. Be more charming in the future, okay? The little monkey, seeing its owner being provoked, felt angry but could do nothing only jumping up and down. Switching scenes to Mook Swan sect, the disciples outside were buzzing with gossip. Fang's senior sister and some high-ranking disciples were summoned inside by the headmaster. One person asked, Do you know what's going on? Another replied, I'm not sure, but the headmaster seems in good spirits. Heard headmaster borrowed a treasure from a noble figure, not sure if it's true or not. Yulian overheard and said to his senior brother beside her, Senior brother, if the headmaster has borrowed a treasure, headmaster surely has the upper hand. Her senior brother replied, It's unclear whether it's true or not, but let's wait and see. Dewis Jingyun stood before the disciples and announced, I've called you here, 
because I borrow the God Spirit artifact. As disciples of Mu Tuan sect, you should witness this. And with this God Spirit, you'll be trained. Holding up a broken wood chopping axe, Dewis Jingyun said, This will give you confidence in the virtual realm for opportunities. One disciple remarked, This looks quite ordinary. Another said, Indeed, it looks very ordinary, just like a regular wood chopping axe. And if it's broken, what can it possibly do? Dewis Jingyun challenged, Oh, ordinary, is it? Who wants to try it? Come up here. Leon Yun Deng stepped forward, saying, Headmaster, let me try. He thought to himself, In this situation, I have to show more to make the headmaster remember me. Dewis Jingyun cautioned his disciple, I'll activate the God Spirit artifact lightly. You must be on high defense. If you can withstand the training from this God Spirit, it will greatly benefit your future cultivation. Leon Yun Deng confidently replied, I understand. It's just a small axe. Nothing special. Dewis Jinyan warned. I'll begin. Be extremely careful. I'll go easy. After being activated, the axe suddenly emitted a mysterious golden energy stream. Dewis Jinyan held the axe tightly and approached, while Leon Yun Deng reached out to support it. However, he was extremely amazed by the power of the axe, exclaiming, What? Immediately after, Leon Yun Deng was knocked out of the door slamming heavily into the wall, causing significant damage. Three disciples outside heard a shocking sound, but couldn't comprehend its origin, so they curiously asked each other, what's happening inside? At that moment, a series of purple energy emanated from outside the door. This energy is truly terrifying, the God Spirit. It's indeed the energy of the God Spirit. The Headmaster has truly obtained the God Spirit. Wu Yulian exclaimed with horror, this is the God Spirit a transcendent energy that makes one shudder. If one could possess it in this lifetime, it would be marvelous. Wu Yulian, unaware that the god spirit was actually the axe that Bai Yu once gave her, which she callously discarded, Wu Yulian would surely be shocked to death if she knew now. At the sound echoing from the door, the ordinary disciples outside became agitated. Senior brother Liang Yun Deng emerged. At this moment, Liang Yun Deng held his right arm with a pained expression taking slow steps toward Wu Yulian. Wu Yulian asked, Senior Brother Leon, why are you in such a state? Weren't you supposed to witness the Heatmaster's God Spirit? Why are you so badly injured? Leon Yundeng replied, Well, I was fortunate enough to experience the training of the God Spirit, but unfortunately, I couldn't even withstand its weakest blow. Wu Yulian quickly remarked, If even the weakest blow is unbearable, then this God Spirit is truly terrifying. Leon Yun Deng continued, The headmaster only lightly activated the god spirit, yet I was pushed out like this. However, witnessing the legendary god spirit, I still feel extremely excited. This time, the headmaster will surely defeat the Highland sect leader. Wu Yulian hurriedly asked, Senior brother, what does the god spirit look like? I'm very curious. Leon Yun Deng answered, The god spirit looks ordinary on the outside, even somewhat mundane. Wanting to entice his daughter, Leon Yundang eagerly suggested, Let's do this. Take out a pen and paper, and I'll draw it for you. After a while, Leon Yundang drew the shape of the broken wood chopping axe. He said, Wu Yulian, this is the God Spirit. Wu Yulian held the painting in her hand, looking back and forth, seeming to suspect something. This God Spirit, she muttered. Seeing Wu Yulian standing still, Leon Yundang finally asked, What's wrong? Is something the matter? Wu Yulian pondered for a while, then replied, Senior brother, why do I feel like I've seen this god spirit before? Liang Yun Deng quickly responded, It's normal to find it familiar. This type of axe is quite common. Perhaps it's the invisible within the visible. Supernatural things tend to appear ordinary on the surface. Wu Yulian examined the painting closely and said to Liang Yun Deng, No, senior brother. I feel like I've truly encountered it before. Liang Yun Ding didn't believe even a bit. He thought, after all, this is a god spirit. How could a young disciple possibly recognize it? So he expressed his doubts to Wu Yulian. What are you thinking? Mu Xuan sect only has one axe close to being a god spirit. Even if you wanted to see a god spirit, you wouldn't find it anywhere. You must be mistaken. Look again carefully, I assure you, you're mistaken. Seeing Liang Yun Deng so convinced, Wu Yulian didn't pursue further. 
Maybe I'm just overthinking. Liang Yundang clenched his fist, gritting his teeth. Wu Yulian, wait until our master finishes the duel. Then we'll take senior sister Fang to seek revenge on the Bayou Mun. Let's see who dares to stand up for that Bayou. He emphasized, strongly. Let me see who will show their face for Bayou this time. Two days later, Lu Yuan and Yang Jiangfeng rushed to the assembly grounds and shouted loudly, Headmaster, Sea Mirage City is about to open. Upon receiving the news, the hot boy also got ready. Immediately, he pointed his finger and gave the departure command. People gathered in the vast sea area were bustling with excitement. Get ready. Sea Mirage City is about to open. This it's a rare opportunity. This time, I'll be the first to charge in. Sea Mirage City has always been mysterious. We don't know what dangers lie inside. Venturing in there is risky, but it's worth it. After all, even the great emperor can't enter. Suddenly, a loud shout came from above. Jinyan Daoist, come out here. From afar, people could see someone riding a lotus platform flying over. That's the Hylian Daoist. It's been famous for a long time. They say he's here this time for a scheduled fight with Jinyan Daoist of the Mu Kuan sect. The newly arrived sect leader immediately became aggressive, continuously shouting, If you don't show yourself, I'll wipe out your Mu Kuan sect. At this moment, Daoist Jingyan also flew over and replied, Your words are not insignificant. Confidently posing, Daoist Jingyan then asked the Hylian sect leader in return, Let me see if you have the guts. Seeing Jingyun's posture and confident demeanor, the Hylian sect leader kept licking his lips nervously, sweat dripping down his face. Jingyun, after 30 years, not only has your appearance not diminished, but you've become even more beautiful. Um. Jingyun, have you considered becoming my cultivation partner? Jingyun coldly responded to Hai Lian. That's still the same line from 30 years ago. Dream on. Hearing this reply, Hai Lian became extremely angry. He gritted his teeth. You're despicable. Where do you get the nerve to say that? I've already reached the ethereal realm. Aren't you afraid of death? Dawis Jingyun replied, Hai Lian, don't just talk big. Who lives and who dies is not certain. Try it, and see the result. High Lion couldn't keep his calm and rushed forward. If that's the case, I can only resort to violence. When the time comes, I'll make you suffer, and it won't be too late for you to submit. As soon as he finished speaking, both sides charged at each other, each unleashing their palm techniques, facing off against each other's attacks. Boom! Boom! There were continuous loud explosions echoing through the sky as they clashed. The two sides battled fiercely shaking the heavens and the earth. Observers below couldn't help but exclaim, Is this a battle with top-tier strategies? The energy is overwhelming. The disciples of the Mu Kwan sect shouted loudly a cheer on their headmaster. Headmaster will surely win, while others clasped their hands in prayer. May the heavens bless the headmaster with victory. After a while, Liang Yundang spoke to Wu Yulian. Wu Yulian, I've discussed this with senior sister Fang. She's someone who covers up flaws. Once the headmaster wins, we'll seek revenge on Bayu. Good. Good. We'll show him what true class is. Wu Yulian responded, nodding in agreement with Liang Yundang. We'll teach him a lesson he'll never forget, so he knows who he can't mess with. Returning to the heated battle, the two sides fought for over 300 rounds without a clear winner. At this point, Hai Lion arrogantly declared, I won't play with you anymore. To which Dois Jingyan coldly replied, I don't want to play with you either. It's too exhausting. Hai Lion focused his strength into his fist, saying, Let's see my move. Seeing Hai Lian's overwhelming strength, Jingyan became worried. This isn't good. Before she could react, Hai Lion launched a powerful punch from a distance. Dois Jingyan took the full force of the blow and staggered backward, crying out in pain. Seeing his opponent hit, Hai Lion began to boast, Ha ha. Jingyan Daoist, your cultivation for over a decade is still worthy of facing me. Accept your fate. I'll give you an easy death. However, Jingyan remained unshaken. She gave a slight glance and said calmly, Hey Lian, don't be too pleased. Slow-cooked porridge will eventually soften. Next, I'll take your dog's life. With that, Daoist Jingyan drew her wooden axe. The crowd below noticed the axe, which had been broken while chopping wood, being bandaged up and they started gossiping incessantly. What is Jingyin Daoist doing? Why would she take out an axe? Isn't that a mistake? 
That weapon doesn't have any spiritual power fluctuation. Why bring it out? Could she have mistaken it for another weapon? Hey, Lian, upon seeing the wood max, burst into loud laughter. Ha ha ha, Jing Yin Taoist, it seems you've lost your mind. Bringing out that broken axe to take my life, huh? Are you joking? Or is there something wrong with your head? Did you take your medicine before coming here? Annoyed by Hai Lian's incessant babbling, Taoist Jing Yun retorted, Hai Lian, did you come here just to fight with words? Useless chatter. Let's see your moves. Daoist Jing Yun spun around and wielded her staff, while Hai Lian remained standing, waiting without seeing anything happening. What's this about? Is this some kind of joke with the Daoist assembly? Suddenly, Lin, his eyes catching something, jolted in horror. What? He was shocked to see the immensely powerful swing of that axe, his mouth muttering, God, God, God Spirit. Just as he managed to utter God Spirit, he was struck by the incoming blow. No. Immediately, High Lion dissipated where he stood, leaving only a trace of dust behind. Doas Jingyun stood still for a moment before conclusively stating, It's over. The crowd below was utterly astonished, their faces dumbfounded. Could it be? The energy earlier was God's spirit. Just one strike turned Doas Headmaster, High Lion, into dust. It's terrifying. That axe must be a weapon of great destruction. The disciples of the Mu Xuan sect rejoiced excitedly. The headmaster has won. Mu Xuan sect has won. At that moment, Wu Yulian recalled a past event. An axe. I think Ba Yu gave me one before. Wu Yulian struggled with conflicting thoughts. What am I thinking? How could Ba Yu have God's spirit? Witnessing Daoist Jin Yun's impressive and elegant combat display, Ba Yu exclaimed, Indeed, God's spirit can only manifest true power in the hands of high-level cultivators. At that moment, the scene became somewhat blurry, and the crowd shouted, Sea Mirage City is opening its gates. Hurry, hurry into Sea Mirage City. The moment of destiny is here. Fang Mu Ling also joyously commanded, Sea Mirage City is open. Prepare to enter, disciples of the Mu Quan sect. Liang Yun Ding immediately called Fang Mu Ling back with a slightly resentful tone. Fang Senior Sister, I've mentioned to you before that someone disrespected our Mu Quan sect and attacked me. Before entering Si Mirage City, can we teach him a lesson? Fang Mu Ling, upon hearing that a disciple of the Mu Quan sect had been mistreated, also wanted to step in a bit. Where is this person? Liang Yun Deng pointed behind. Over there. Let me lead the way for you, senior sister. As soon as the illusion opened up, the crowd took the opportunity to rush inside. Bai Yu, seeing this, also excitedly urged everyone, let's go inside too. Meanwhile, unexpectedly at this moment, Liang Yun Dang, Wu Yulian, and Fang Mu Ling approached. When Liang Yun Dang spotted Bai Yu's group, he boldly pointed, Senior sister, over here. That's the ignorant country bumpkin. A familiar figure caught Fang Mu Ling's eye, leaving her speechless as she murmured, Bai Headmaster. Then Liang Yun Dang pretended to be outraged. Senior sister, this dog is extremely insolent. Every time he attacks me, he slaps me directly in the face. He completely disregards the Mu Quan sect. At that moment, Wu Yulian arrogantly thought to herself, Bai Yu, the calamity you've caused is your own doing. Now, no one can save you. Liang Yun Deng rushed up to Bai Yu's face. You dog, my senior sister Mu Ling is here. Come and face your death. Bai Yu remained extremely composed, lightly chuckling. Hey, while Liang Yun Deng was grinding his teeth, Bai Yu replied provocatively, Oh, that's because you told me to come here. Fang Mu Ling approached behind Liang Yun Deng and inquired, Did Bai Headmaster attack you? Liang Yun Deng pointed accusingly, Senior sister, he's worthy of being a headmaster in front of you. He's just a dog, and he'd attacked me without reason. If not for help, even ten of him wouldn't be a match for me. Before Fang Mu Ling could respond, Wu Yulian interjected, Fang Senior Sister, Bai Yu used to know me. He even liked and pursued me. Now that he sees me infatuated with senior brother Liang Yun Deng, he's harboring resentment, and that's why he asks someone to attack senior brother Liang. This person, I can only say, is morally ambiguous. I deeply regret knowing him in the past. Listening to these words, Fang Mu Ling felt a bit itchy in her ears. Liang Yun Deng arrogantly narrowed his eyes and pointed down with his lips. You dare to step forward. Quickly needle down here. 
As soon as he finished speaking, there was a sound. Smack! Bai Yu slapped him in the face. Leung Yun Deng exclaimed in pain. What? Another slap made him slump his head down to the ground. Leung Yun Deng shouted, Bai Yu, you dare so much. Dare to lay hands in front of senior sister Fang. I'll kill you. Before he could finish his words, Bai Yu's fist struck him in the middle of the face. He screamed and flew back. Then Bai Yu grabbed his collar and pulled him up. Didn't you tell me to come? I'll smash your mouth. You rotten mouth. Next time remember to rinse your mouth before meeting others. So the hot boy kept hitting relentlessly. Not only hitting, but also counting. One, two, twenty, twenty-two. When Mu Yulian saw her senior brother being beaten to a pulp, she rushed over. Bai Yu, I think you're crazy. Still not knowing your place. Daring to attack and assassinate senior brother Leon. Stop it now. Wu Yulian was about to attack Bai Yu when suddenly a delicate hand delivered a palm technique to her face. Smack! She was sent flying away by Fang Mu Ling's palm technique. Yulian held her painful face in confusion and said, Senior sister? She was heavily shocked, feeling bitter as she asked again, Fang senior sister? What sister? Smack! Another slap to the face. Shut your mouth. This is not the place for you to speak. With the slap just now, Yulian also fell flat on the ground. Fang Mu Ling stepped forward, bowing her head with both hands. I'm sorry, Bai Headmaster. I let these two fools bother you. Wu Yulian, just getting up, was shaken. She seemed unable to stand firm because she couldn't believe what she had just seen. Insane. Liang Yun Deng lay sprawled out, his eyes wide open in shock, his mouth gaping. What, what devil is this? Then he mustered up some last strength to stand hunched over, looking. Am I insane? Or did Fang senior sister insane? Why would senior sister treat Bai Yu so politely? Has order been turned upside down? This matter must have been twisted. Seeing Fang Mu Ling bowing her head before Bai Yu, Wu Yulian still couldn't accept the truth. She squinted, muttering, There must be some misunderstanding. Senior sister Fang, Bai Yu is just ordinary. How could it be, sister? At this moment, Delwis Jingyun flew over and immediately handed the axe used for chopping wood to Bai Yu. Bai Headmaster, thank you for lending me this tool. This battle turned out much smoother than I expected. Liang Yun Deng and Wu Yulian were extremely shocked to see the God Spirit Axe. What? Liang couldn't stand firm and knelt down. This holy artifact is lent by Bai Yu. Wu Yulian regretted deeply. How could this happen? The axe for chopping wood that Bai Yu gave me a few days ago turned out to be a God Spirit treasure. Not only did we return it, but we also threw it to the ground. Dewis Jingyun presented the axe to Bai, saying, God Spirit, please return to Bai Headmaster. From now on, Mu Xuan Sek will honor Bai Headmaster as an elder. Yang Jang Feng and Lu Yuan were moved by this scene. Tears streamed down their faces as they said, Elder, that title and extreme respect seem to indicate that Mu Tuan sect has regarded Bai Headmaster as a senior figure. Everything is being handled effortlessly, and major forces will continue to submit. Following Bai Headmaster is the wisest decision of Lu Yuan's life. Hot boy Bai Yu took the axe and said, Daoist Jingyun is too polite. Let's not dwell on it anymore. Let's quickly enter the illusion. Seeing Bai Yu approaching, Wu Yulian looked pitiful and said, Bai Yu, that wood chopping axe, that treasure. Bai Yu walked away coldly without turning back, replying, Our paths have crossed. We've caused each other pain, so it's too late now. After that, Bai Yu walked away without a glance back. Wu Yulian collapsed to the ground, murmuring, Why is this happening? What should I do now? At that moment, Daoist Jingyun and Fang Mu Ling were observing Bai Yu. Suddenly, Daoist Jingyun exclaimed, Oh, something's not right, or rather, something's fishy. Fang Mu Ling, surprised, asked, Master, what do you mean? Seeing Bai Yu and his two disciples heading towards Si Mirage City, Daoist Jingyun was extremely puzzled. Why is Bai Yu Headmaster also heading towards Si Mirage City? What is he planning? Fang Mu Ling, seeing her master's inquiry, replied, Even I cannot understand. Perhaps Bai Headmaster wants to observe Si Mirage City with his own eyes. As Daoist Jingyun exclaimed, Bai Yu and his disciples disappeared. Fang Mu Ling startled. What? He went. Inside there. 
So fast. But something feels off here, doesn't it? Fang Muling suspected something. She turned to call Dewis Jingyun. Master, see Mirage City. Only those below Marcus Realm can enter. How could Bai Headmaster get in? Couldn't it be that Bai Headmaster's cultivation hasn't reached Marcus Realm yet? Dewis Jingyun immediately refuted. Don't talk nonsense. It's impossible for Bai Headmaster's cultivation not to have reached Marcus Realm. Upon hearing the Master speak like that, Fang Muling could only mutter, Indeed, it seems impossible. Daoist Jingyun continued, So it can only be that even a city like Si Mirage City cannot restrict him. The illusions are where he freely enters and exits. Previously, we underestimated Ba Yu Headmaster. It's not surprising that Ba Headmaster doesn't hold our disciples in high regard. At this moment, Daoist Jingyun recalled Ba Yu's arrogant expression. Without revealing her thoughts, she advised her disciples. Mu Ling, in the future, in front of him, behave like a maid and serve him well. Don't think too much about other things. Though we are cultivators, we are still moral beings and cannot escape his scrutiny. Hearing these words from her master, Fang Mu Ling felt disappointed. She muttered, Is that so? Turning to Liang Yun Deng and Wu Yulian, Fang Mu Ling said, Both of you, wait until I return to deal with your disgraceful actions. Wu Yulian, kneeling and pleading, cried out, Senior Sister Fang, I was wrong. Please give me another chance. Feeling disappointed and irritated, Fang Mu Ling snapped, Get lost. You don't even deserve to call me Senior Sister, you fool. You dare speak of regret after meeting Ba Yu Headmaster, yet fail to realize that your greatest fortune in this lifetime is encountering him. But you missed it. A day of cultivation may not yield results, but a day of foolishness will bring consequences. As soon as she finished speaking, Fang Mu Ling left without turning back. Wu Yulian kneeled, looking pitiful. In love, one loves the whole sect. In hatred, one despises every path and route. Liang Yun Deng, infuriated, confronted Yulian directly. Wu Yulian, have you gone blind? Are your eyes above your eyebrows? Bai Yu Headmaster is so divine, yet you not only refuse his advances, but also stir up trouble. You won't even accept God's spirit as a gift. I don't know how to scold you anymore. Truly, you've been stupid for a long time, hard to train, eating rice and still remaining foolish. Yulian's eyes welled up with tears, stammering, Liang Senior Brother, I truly didn't know. Please don't call me Senior Brother. Liang Yun Deng, with one hand covering his face, exclaimed, Why is my fate so miserable, befriending someone as blind as you? This time, because of you, I am involved and almost died. Mu Chuan sect might not forgive this. Senior brother, as for you, you surely won't be allowed to stay. You're the main culprit in this, and you'll likely be confined in the darkest dungeon. Upon hearing this, Wu Yulian twisted her face. What? I struggled so hard to enter Mu Tuan's sect, worked hard to step onto the path of cultivation. It can't end like this. Life is so unjust to me. Liang Yundang then looked straight into Yulian's eyes and said, Life isn't fair. You can't straighten the curly hair so don't try to change the world. After that, he turned away, stating, I have to enter the illusion first. This opportunity cannot be missed. I'll face the consequences after coming out. Wu Yulian hurriedly ran up, grabbing Liang Yundeng's sleeve tightly. Senior brother, take me with you. Follow me as well. Haven't you harmed me enough? Liang Yundeng forcefully shook off Yulian's hand. Get lost. Don't claim to know me anymore. In his mind, Liang Yundeng thought, Loving someone is difficult, but betraying them is even harder. After Liang Yundang left, Wu Yulian was left alone, lamenting. Why? Why is it like this? Why did I end up in this situation? If Mu Xuan sect expels me, if I get confined to the darkest dungeon, my life would be shattered. What meaning does my existence hold? Switching scenes to another location, the sect leader of chaotic evil sect was on the way to see Mirage City, declaring, Shang Tian sect, the handling of the truth is unbelievable. It has been so long, and we still haven't caught by Xu Lu. No more waiting. I will take matters into my own hands. He looked ahead and saw an unfamiliar space, wondering, is this the illusion? Too bad, I've surpassed the Marcus realm. Can't enter it. Shang Tian sect doesn't allow my dark sect disciples to appear here. Missing such a great opportunity is truly regrettable. Following the clues, that girl bike Sulu 
has been accepted as a disciple by Bai Yu Headmaster. People from the Bai Yu sect should be in this illusion. So, why don't I see anyone? He scanned the area and suddenly spotted Wu Yulian. There's someone over there, let's go ask. Out of the blue, a voice came from behind, startling Wu Yulian. What's your name? The sect leader of Chaotic Evil Sect, standing tall in front of Yulian, said, I have something to ask you. But Wu Yulian seemed bewildered, unable to speak. At this moment, she thought, What should we do? Is there any place where we can take refuge here? The leader of Chaotic Evil Sect looked at her with a suspicious and puzzled expression. He raised his hand, pulled Wu Yulian closer, and gripped her neck, lifting her up. He angrily shouted, I'm asking you, can't you hear? Answer truthfully, or I'll kill you. Don't pretend to be deaf. Seemingly indifferent to her fate, Yulian replied with a statement that made the leader jump. Go ahead, kill me. She even smiled. Anyway, my life doesn't have much meaning now. The sect leader also had to furrow his brows. Aren't you afraid of death? Afterwards, he released his grip and Yulian fell to the ground, catching her breath. Doing this truly tests the patience of my esteemed sect leader. Wu Yulian, now seemingly insane, muttered, Hee hee, it's all because of you. Bai Yu, it's because of you that I ended up in this predicament. I curse Bai Yu sect to be annihilated. Hearing these words, the sect leader delightedly asked, Bai Yu sect, do you know Bai Yu sect? Then, he sat down. Explain it to me clearly, and I'll give you the opportunity for revenge. After a while of Yulian explaining everything, the sect leader finally understood the situation. So that's how it is. It seems Bai Xu Lu has also entered Si Mirage City. Only then did Yulian ask, Aren't you giving me the chance for revenge? The sect leader laughed, Ha ha, do you know who I am? No, I am the sect leader of Chaotic Evil Sect. Hearing this answer from the leader of the Dark Sect, Yulian was shocked to her core, her eyes widened, and her mouth hung open. She staggered back. What? Dark Sect? Now, I give you the opportunity to join Chaotic Evil Sect. I will enhance your strength, and you will replace me in Si Mirage City, capture Bai Xulu, and take the chance to send that Bai Yu fellow to meet death. How about it? A perfect plan. One arrow hitting two birds. Wu Yulian hesitated. I. Seeing Yulian's hesitation, the sect leader immediately pressed. What's the matter? Are you not afraid of death, but you're afraid to join Chaotic Evil Sect? When asked by the Chaotic Evil Sect leader, aren't you afraid of death? After a moment of contemplation and fueled by resentment, Yulin glared fiercely and coldly replied, I'm not afraid. Now I'm like a stray dog, all thanks to that damn Bayou. With no other options, facing the inevitable, Wu Yulin clenched her fists, accepting the final path, I am willing to join Chaotic Evil Sect. The old sinister cult leader, upon hearing Wu Yulian's answer, gleefully extended his hand forward and shouted loudly, Excellent! Dark, malevolent energy emanated from his entire being, indicating nothing auspicious. Wu Yulian, witnessing this scene, felt a profound sense of confusion and anxiety. Frozen in place, she didn't know what to do. Before she could react, the sinister old man was quicker. The cult leader drew Wu Yulian towards him and fiery sparks began to appear. Now, I will impart chaotic evil sect martial arts to you, to enhance your cultivation and strength. Suddenly, the old sinister cult leader's arm became engulfed in flames. Wu Yulian seemed to be in intense pain, crying out while her eyes turned a fiery red and terrifying red marks started to appear on her face. At this moment, the old sinister cult leader didn't stop but continued to transmit his techniques, regardless of Wu Yulian's increasingly loud cries. She seemed on the verge of transforming into a malevolent demon. After a while, he finally ceased and uttered, You are a very suitable seed for cultivating dark arts. Wu Yulian slowly descended from the air, and the cult leader wore a sly smile. He then pointed towards the illusion. Go, remember, from today onwards, you are a disciple of chaotic evil sect. Wu Yulian, now seemingly transformed, quickly responded, Yes. As soon as she spoke, she flew into the illusion, while the sinister cult leader prepared to return. With a swift movement, he disappeared, saying, We can't let Shang Tian Sek discover. I've been here before, or else all our efforts today would be in vain. Transitioning to inside the illusion, witnessing the ethereal space, Bai Yu, the hot boy, exclaimed, 
This place is truly extraordinary. The spiritual energy here is ten times greater than outside, and the Ding Tai Four is brimming with immortal key, just like the celestial realms in legends. Hearing the master's words, Lai Xiu quickly added, Legend has it that the illusion is the real resonance of immortals. But after a major incident, the immortals collectively disappeared, and the illusion became an empty shell. Suddenly, Bai Xu Lu turned and left, saying, I won't go with you anymore. I won't act alone. Bai Yu immediately retorted, No, it's too dangerous for a child like you to go alone. Bai Xu Lu paid no attention to Bai Yu's words and quickly moved away, stating, I can protect myself. I'll go on my own. As Bai Xu Lu flew away, she thought to herself, I have unparalleled abilities. I can handle everything alone. Being with you all only slows down my collection speed. To put it simply, you will hinder my chances. Hot boy Bai Yu continued to follow, commenting, This girl is something else. Everything else is fine, but she's stubborn and doesn't listen. Lai Tzu quickly added, Master, junior sister is not simple. Just let her go. In the heart of the hot boy, he thought Bai Xu Lu has already left anyway. How can the master stop her? The scene shifted to another corner of the virtual landscape, where a flying mount from the Shang Tian sect was approaching. On the flying ship, three hot boys were looking towards the virtual landscape. Gray-clothed Liu Chong spoke up. We've arrived at the virtual landscape. The person in red at the front, seemingly the leader, instructed, Go inside. You know what to do. Liu Chong tightened his grip on his raised hand and proclaimed, Everyone, let me shout the Sheng Tian sect sloven loudly. Sheng Tian sect won't let a single blade of grass live. Wherever I go, even gods and immortals must make way. The leader showed great satisfaction, saying, Very good. This time in the virtual landscape, all the opportunities are mine, all belong to Sheng Tian sect. Liu Chong continued, I have boundless virtues and blessings from heaven. This time, I'm sure to harvest abundant good fortunes, conquer numerous auspicious opportunities, and attain supreme prosperity. Liu Shang, I really enjoy hearing you speak. You are truly a talented individual. Liu Shang expressed delight and chuckled, then turned back to hot boy Bai Yu, saying, This floating giant island in the sky is truly peculiar, being able to hang suspended in the air like this. It is indeed true that hearing a hundred times is not as good as seen once. Like Su chimed in, So master, you didn't know. It seems you have become a bit outdated. The virtual landscape last appeared 100 years ago, and back then, the place it emerged is now the Demon Heaven Realm, one of the nine major sacred realms. Many demons entered at that time, and most of them died inside. Those who came later were very cautious about the situation inside, and very little information was transmitted out. However, there's a rumor that a demon, after coming out, had a horrifying expression, with his dying words cautioning not to approach the floating island. It seems that even though the virtual landscape offers opportunities, whether it brings fortune or calamity is still uncertain. Hearing his master Bai Yu talk about this, Lai Xu felt a bit frightened and shivered. As they walked a bit further, both of them quickly spotted a crowd up ahead. Bai Yu, curious, asked, What are those people doing? Looks like there's something lively happening over there. With Bai Yu's playful and curious nature, he couldn't pass up such a good opportunity. Bai Yu said, Lai Xu, let's go over and check it out. In front of them, they saw a group of people being blocked by a large gate. The person in yellow, Chan Yoshin, expressed his intention, Everyone, let's use our strength to break through this. After a collective effort, the large gate remained unyielding. Still not working. They concluded, Chang Yushin continued, If a gate is this hard to open, there must be extraordinary treasures inside. The person next to him suggested, Anyone who has a way to break this gate, the one who chooses the treasure inside can go first. Lai Xu and Hot Boy overheard the discussions of the crowd. Chang Yushin, the person in the yellow outfit with a pointed hat, confidently declared, True, whoever can break this, I guarantee that the person who chooses the treasure inside goes first. Lai Tzu approached and said, Let me handle it. The crowd turned around in surprise to see who had spoken so confidently. Then all eyes focused on Lai Tzu. Lai Tzu extended his hand, activated a magical technique, and said, This gate has a mysterious formation. It can't be broken with brute force. Under his breath, 
Like Sue muttered, grade by grade, like rules and laws. As soon as he finished speaking, the hot boy pointed at the gate. A stream of green magic shot in, followed by a loud explosion and a cloud of dust. After the dust settled, a gate partially opened, leaving the crowd amazed. It's really opened. Like Shu, with a smirk, raised two fingers as if creating a cool pose. Easy gaming. What's so hard about these three little treasures? Chan Yushin called out to Like Shu. Brother, I'm not sure how to address you. Like Shu turned back and replied, Bai Yu sect. Like Shu. Upon hearing Bai Yu sect, the crowd started buzzing with discussions. So, he's a disciple of Bai Yu sect. Recently, there have been rumors that Bai Yu sect has unified the entire Haiyuan city. Not sure if it's true or false. Like Shu, being so young and already a master of formations, it seems like Bai Yu headmaster indeed has some real skills. Chong Yushin bowed. Please, as I mentioned earlier, the treasure's inside. Brothers, please choose first. Suddenly, a distant voice echoed. Wait a moment. As the crowd turned back, they discovered it's the Shen family, Shen Ru Long. The Shen family is a prominent cultivation family in the Shang Tian region, and Shen Ru Long himself is quite arrogant. With him here, surely nothing good will happen. Seeing this ominous figure, the crowd shook their heads in disapproval. Shen Rulong pointed his fan towards Lai Xu, saying, Why let him choose first? I don't agree. Chang Yushin responded, Young Master Shen, this is what everyone agreed on earlier. Without Lai Xu, we wouldn't have been able to open this gate. Even with everyone's combined efforts before, it was impossible. Shen Rulong's sweet words were as venomous as poison. He retorted with a tone lacking courtesy. That's what you said. I didn't say that. Besides, I didn't hear it either. Like Xu, hearing this, couldn't help but feel annoyed. Green beans and basil seeds. How can this guy, who came later hear what was said? Truly an ungrateful fellow. The two individuals accompanying Shen Ru Long raised their hands to restrain the crowd, while Shen Ru Long boldly declared, Quickly move aside, all of you, and let me through. I, young master Shen, will enter first. Seeing Shen Ru Long trying to take advantage despite arriving later, Chang Yushin stepped forward to block his way, saying, Young Master Shen, this goes against the principles of the martial world. Then, pointing his finger, Chang Yushin added, I, Chang Yushin, am the first to disagree. The onlookers outside started murmuring, Exactly in the martial world, one must uphold their principles. Shen Ru Long, despite your influence, you cannot use your power to harm others. Hearing these words, Shen Ru Long glared angrily. He then exploded, too much pointless talk. As he finished speaking, hot boy Bai Yu, wild cubs in kindergarten, swiftly threw a powerful punch. Chang Yushin couldn't react or avoid the blow, taking the full force of the punch and being thrown backward. Shen Ru Long raised his fan, scowling. Chang Yushin, with your strength, you dare to teach me? Do you even know who you are? Believe it or not, I can kill you right now. He continued boasting. The entire cultivation world is entering a chaotic period. You talk about principles with me, a bunch of knave fools. Let's see who dares to utter a word. The surrounding people clenched their teeth in anger. Chang Yushin pondered and said, Like Xu is our brother. It's our mistake. I'm afraid our brother has to bear the consequences. Lai Xu's expression turned serious. This matter doesn't concern you. He approached Shen Ru Long and uttered coldly, if he wants to be the first in, he has to get past me. Lai Xu narrowed his eyes, giving off a confident air. Seeing someone daring to challenge him, Shen Ru Long raised an eyebrow in disdain. Lai Xu rushed forward to throw a punch, and Shen Ru Long prepared to counter, saying, Don't underestimate your opponent. Suddenly, Lai Xu sensed something, not good. With a swift move, hot boy Lai Xu was punched away, leaving Chan Yushin in astonishment. Lai Xu steadied himself, or he's in the title realm. Lai Xu guessed the cultivation level of Shen Ru Long, making him sweat profusely. Shen Ru Long, feeling triumphant, sneered, a little superhero realm kid dares to face someone in the title realm. Are you tired of living? You, a bunch of trash, also have the audacity to argue with me. Shen Ru Long raised his head and proudly declared, pointing to his face. Let me tell you, the punch of Shen Rulong is the strongest. 
Everything I say is the truth. From childhood to now, I have always been at the top. Who dares to compete with me? Suddenly, the voice of hot boy Bay Yu echoed. That's right. You're the best at everything. So, you'll be the first to die. Shen Ru Long listened with anger written all over his face. He glanced around to identify the speaker but couldn't find the owner of those words. He loudly exclaimed, Dare anyone speak to me like that, you dog's belongings? The hot boy Bay Yu approached slowly and commented, It's truly a shameful act. Don't you think speaking such things would bring disgrace to the Shen family? If I had a child like you, I would have already pinned you to the wall. Shen Ru Long, feeling bitter, recognized him. This seems to be Bai Yu, the headmaster of Bai Yu sect. It's him. I never expected him to confront Shen Ru Long so boldly. Shen Ru Long gestured with an attitude. But when Bai Yu approached assertively, he hesitated a bit, saying, The little guy from Bai Yu sect is nothing in my eyes. Only you dare to stand up against me. Before he could finish speaking, he received a slap as if from the heavens. His face turned purple but he still fiercely pointed with his index finger. You dog, dare to strike me. I'll kill you. Before his second attempt to speak, another swift strike landed, a cut appearing on his hand. Looking back, he saw watermelon-colored liquid on the sword, the cut from Bai Yu with God's spirit in hand. Shen Ru Long was now extremely frightened, kneeling before a cold Bai Yu who spoke little but struck a lot. My hand, my hand is disabled now. The hot boy aimed his sword straight at Shen Ru Long and demanded, Quickly admit your mistake, or I'll kill you. In his heart, the hot boy silently thought, Even though God's spirit may not unleash its full power, it is still quite useful. Shen Ru Long, still stubborn, replied, If you have the courage, go ahead and kill me. Shen Ru Long is inherently arrogant. Why should I admit any wrongdoing to you? Dream on. The hot boy Bai Yu continued to brandish the god spirit and said, Fine. Witnessing this scene, Shen Ru Long was horrified and screamed, Ah! As the sword was about to touch his neck, Shen Ru Long uttered, I was wrong, worthless scum. If you truly end up like this, I should have valued you a bit less. Shen Ru Long, now in tears, begged, I was wrong. Then, he repeatedly banged his head, saying, I apologize, Bai Yu Headmaster. I apologize to everyone. Please take me as an example. A cultivator who understands righteousness, preserves the reputation of the martial world, and ensures the survival of the cultivator community. The surrounding crowd cheered enthusiastically. Bai Yu Headmaster, mighty and majestic, release your anger. This kind of person needs to be disciplined. Bai Yu, with a cold demeanor, commanded, enough, let's go inside. During that time, Shen Ru Long still lay with his head on the ground showing no signs of movement whatsoever. After a while, one of his subordinates rushed over and said, Young master, everyone has left. Please get up quickly. Maintaining a strong spirit, he asked his subordinate, How was my performance? I played the role well, deserving the refinement and education I received. That was my acting. Who would have thought that guy dared to attack for real? If I weren't agile, my head would have been rolling long ago. Too ruthless. What should the young master do now? Immediately summon my father. I want to wipe out the entire Bai Yu sect. Shen Ru Long gritted his teeth and said, If you can't handle it, just call for reinforcements. Outside the virtual area, a teleportation formation opened. At this moment, a group of people dressed in black teleported in. The demon child. We arrived just in time. A little later, the virtual scene would close. A hundred years ago, this virtual area appeared in the infernal realm where the emperor had stepped in and seen three sets of supreme demonic armor. Unfortunately, he couldn't take them out, but he always regretted it. This time, our main mission is to bring out those three sets of demonic armor. Demon child, rest assured, this time, we prepared thoroughly. When we enter, the Sheng Tian cultivators are nothing more than weak prey. Inside the virtual area, Bai Yu's group steadily advanced. Chang Yushin whispered to Bai Yu, Bai Yu Headmaster, this time there are many people from Shen Ru Long. We still need to be careful to guard against retaliation from the Shen family in the future. The hot boy responded with a cheeky remark, No worries. If they're not afraid to die, let them come. I must say, you've earned my admiration for your sect. Now, entering a chaotic period, cultivators like you can still uphold your principles. Bai Yu Headmaster, to be honest with you all, 
We are a group of cultivators in the Cayu Mountains. For survival, we formed a small group. As you know, cultivators practicing key cultivation in the immortal cultivation world are looked down upon. If we couldn't maintain our principles, we would have been bullied to death or fallen into chaos long ago. It's precisely because everyone has boundaries, positions, and common ideals that we can unite like this for many years. As the group advanced further inside, they unexpectedly encountered a surprising situation. Someone quickly spoke up, Look, what's that? What's going on? Right in front of them stood a group of fully armored soldiers, blocking the way forward. In total, there were thirteen of them, an unlucky number indeed. To proceed deeper, they had to face and overcome this group of soldiers, with no other paths or choices available. With no way out, the group had no option but to continue forward. Moving closer, even stranger images began to appear. The crowd buzzed with discussion. There's clearly no one inside the armor, so why is it standing upright? The armor seems to be assembled from various components, almost see-through between the parts. There's no visible connection between the armor pieces, looking quite mysterious. What's even more bizarre is that these armors can wield swords. Everyone be careful, it's getting too strange. All eyes were fixed on the armors without blinking. Chang Yushin, upon witnessing such a mysterious scene, exclaimed, Let me investigate. Everyone pay attention and be cautious. Stand back and observe. Drawing a gleaming sword from his hand, Chang Yushin confidently stepped forward and shouted, Don't play tricks, masquerading as a supernatural being. Otherwise, step down and help. Unexpectedly, some figures quickly rushed in, saying, We'll handle you. Chang Yushin struck down with a powerful blow into the midst of the armor. Clang! And Chang Yushin was utterly astonished. What is this? Looking back at his now broken sword, he said, My sword is a level 9 weapon, and it's broken like this. Observing this scene, some bystanders analyzed, If a level 9 weapon can't do anything, these armors are not ordinary objects. At least, these armors must be godlike sacred artifacts. With so many of them, there's enough for each person to have one. The crowd quickly envisioned themselves in these super-grade armors. If one could possess a set, combat prowess would at least double. The weapon levels were categorized as follows. Level 9, Divine Level, Godly Grade, God Level, and Super God Level. Upon hearing that each person could own such a super-grade armor set, the crowd enthusiastically exclaimed, Everyone be careful, prepare for battle. Some wielded swords, others carried axes, and some even had reverse grip swords. All were determined to obtain one of these formidable armor sets. On the opposing side, the adversaries were no pushovers either. The armored figures took a ready stance. Charge, kill. Both sides engaged in chaotic combat, but very quickly, with just one move, the crowd was sent flying by the armor sets. The people were utterly horrified. What? We can't inflict any damage on the armor, not even a little. This way, how can we fight? It's best to retreat. Bai Yu observed the approaching armor sets with great curiosity. Finally, what are these armors like? Examining the armor sets closely once again, the hot boy was utterly astonished. Then, the armor sets passed by in the hot boy's bewilderment. Ha! Huh. The armor sets didn't bother acknowledging the hot boy, seemingly oblivious to his presence. The hot boy was extremely puzzled and wondered, why isn't the armor attacking me? Seeing the armor showing no signs of defense, the hot boy turned around and threw a sneak punch, saying, then don't blame me for being impolite. As he jumped up to deliver the punch, the armor sensed it and turned back. The hot boy exclaimed in panic, oh no, huh? The armor countered with a swift move against the hot boy. Bayou flew far away, bending his body to regain balance, trying to stand firm. The hot boy widened his eyes, raised his eyebrows, and muttered, something's not right. The defense and attack capabilities of this armor are formidable. Later, the hot boy pondered, if these armors wanted to kill us, they probably wouldn't have waited until now. Having a revelation, the hot boy seemed to understand the situation. The only explanation is that these armors won't attack automatically, they only counterattack when provoked. Immediately after, the hot boy tested his theory. Approaching the armor cautiously, he raised his hand and greeted, Hello, hi. After waving and making various comical gestures, the armor remained unresponsive. The hot boy concluded, Indeed, 
just as I thought. It seems like this place is some kind of training ground, and these armors are used for daily practice. All of them are very strong. Daily training needs to be robust like this. Outside the virtual scene, Shen Ru Long, with one arm bandaged, rushed back and whispered to his parents. The elderly man was extremely astonished. How is that possible? Clenching his fist tightly, he gritted his teeth. Shen Ru Long, my only son, he dares to cripple your own hand. Shen Ru Long deliberately added fuel to the fire. Father, if I hadn't been cautious, perhaps you wouldn't be seeing me again. The elderly man flew into a rage and commanded, lead the way for me. He walked ahead proudly. The virtual scene is only accessible for cultivators at the Marcus realm and below. Currently, our Shen Ru Long family has four peak level realm experts, just one step away from advancing to the realm of immense power. In this virtual scene, while not the strongest, we are still formidable. He dares to provoke the Shen family. Now we'll go crush them. Inside the virtual scene, a panicked voice shouted, Hurry up, we're about to be surrounded. If we don't retreat now, it'll be too late. The armors quickly closed in. Lai Chu, quite astute, recognized the situation and said to Bai Yu, Master, the more I look, the more it feels like a testing ground and these armors are used for daily training. The hot boy quickly responded, Master, you're thinking the same way as me, Lai Xu. Since we're here, let's train. In his mind, the hot boy silently thought, These armors are really good. Their defense is so strong. In any case, I have to figure out a way to get a set. Lai Xu replied, I think the same way. Bai Yu, with a composed demeanor, announced, Everyone, don't panic. Just lie close to the ground. As long as you don't resist, the armors won't harm you. Someone skeptically asked, Bai Headmaster, are you joking? Lying down will get us minced meat by the armors, won't it? As he responded to Bai Yu's words, the armor quickly closed in. Swiftly, the armor swung a sword, and the person was extremely horrified. It's over. Can't escape anymore. Fortunately, Lai Xu rushed in and threw a punch at the armor. Bai Yu, with both hands on his hips, observed the people inside. Why does no one listen to me? The person saved by Lai Xu was extremely grateful, thanking him profusely. Lai Xu, brother, thank you. Lai Xu then energetically charged into battle. The onlookers outside were amazed at this sight. Lai Xu can easily defeat an armor, even though his cultivation level isn't very high, still in the superhero realm. Bai Headmaster is indeed extraordinary. He can recruit such a talented disciple. A young genius like this should have joined the Sheng Tian sect, unexpectedly becoming Bai Yumun's disciple. After observing Lai Xu clashing with the armors for a while, hot boy Bai Yu confidently turned to Lai Xu and asked, How does it look, apprentice? Lai Xu, with bright eyes, exuded confidence as he responded to his master, progressing rapidly. These armors are truly suitable for training in both offense and defense. Lai Xu looked ahead at the armors and continued, As long as we don't attack them, they will never harm us. Lai Xu swung his sword, ready for the next training session, enthusiastically telling his master, My cultivation level is about to reach the title realm. Finishing his words, Lai Xu boldly rushed towards the armors. Hot boy Bai Yu smirked, tilted his head, and muttered, Reaching the title realm in such a short time, faster than sitting in meditation on the source of all things every day. Continuing, Lai Xu trained fervently with the armors, alternating between offense and defense. After a while, Lai Xu squinted and exclaimed, approaching the limit. Putting all his strength into a final strike, Lai Xu shouted, Break it for me! A tremendous force unleashed by Lai Xu came down, creating a ball of lightning with crackling bolts, resounding with a loud boom. The armor was then thrown far away, breaking through the Tidal Realm boundary. Boom! 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 Continuous loud explosions accompanied by billowing clouds of dust. A massive energy source surrounded Lai Xu, and he muttered, Tidal Realm, my true strength has increased at least tenfold. Hot boy Bai Yu, witnessing this scene, was also extremely astonished, feeling that his two disciples were far from simple. It seems like they are playing, hazy like a prank. The power of my two disciples has increased rapidly. Perhaps the system accepting them as disciples has deeper implications than I thought. Unexpectedly, at this moment, a familiar voice echoed. Found it. 
Lai Xiu quickly opened his eyes, and it turned out to be Shen Rulong's group. He pointed with his hand and said, Here, this is the place. Chen Yushin turned to look, and it wasn't difficult to recognize. It's the people from the Shen family. They found us too quickly. The two people beside him, upon seeing the elderly man, startled, then stepped back, saying, That's the patriarch and some elders of the Shen family, all at the peak of the tidal realm. It's over. The most powerful force of the Shen family has almost arrived. This journey is not going to end well. Shen Runlong's face showed a triumphant expression. This time, with someone backing him, he became much more arrogant. He turned to his father and said, Father, those people are all deserving of death. No one can be spared. Especially that Bai Yu. I will personally crush him. The old man looked disdainfully without paying much attention. Your eyes must be blind. Or perhaps your brains are filled with tofu. Daring to provoke the Shen family, you must be tired of living. Upon hearing the old man's words, both the hot boy Bai Yu and Zhang Yushin turned to look at him. With his hot-tempered nature, Zhang Yushin spoke up. Master Shen, this matter is indeed due to the wrongdoing of young Master Shen. The Shen family is a prestigious family. We hope Master Shen can clarify the reasons and uphold justice, distinguishing right from wrong. Shen Rulong, with his spoiled and arrogant nature, having been pampered since childhood and now backed by his father, had every reason to act insolent. He directly cursed Chan Yushin to his face. Get lost, Chan Yushin. It's about time you stop spouting useless words. You and your bunch of ragged cultivators deserve contempt, insults, and depression. The old man seemed slightly calmer, but the lack of decorum was evident, a trait passed down from father to son. He clenched his teeth and issued two rules. Rule 1. My son is always right. Rule 2. If my son is wrong, refer to Rule 1. Then he concluded with a stern statement. Regardless of right or wrong, whatever my son does is always right. If any of you dare to oppress my son, today you will all die. Chang Yushin heard some unreasonable words and endured an excessive oppression from the old man without restraint. He responded loudly, You wretch! The Shen family thinks they can dominate the heavens with just one hand. Is there anyone left in this world who upholds righteousness? After Chang Yushin finished speaking, he was suddenly pushed far away by a powerful hand technique, surprising everyone around. That is a technique of striking with the palm of the old man's hand. Right after executing the technique, the strength still lingers around his hand. The old man stared straight into Chan Yushin's eyes and shouted, My son has spoken. If you talk too much, you deserve to be punished with the hand technique. Someone nearby quickly helped Chan Yushin to his feet. Then, he asked in a cautionary manner, Is there still a chance? Chan Yushin, bowing his head, with his whole body covered in cold sweat, replied, There is no chance left. The experts in the tidal realm, their pinnacle, have made their move. We cannot face even half a minute. The other person had to suppress his anger and said, If that's the case, survive as much as you can. Upon hearing this, Chang Yushin immediately asked a question. Old Yi, have you thought it through? The person named Yi quickly responded, I've thought it through. Now, there's only one path left to choose. 